Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of EV Comic Talk. It's Thursday, October 20th. And today, we're going to look at the market as usual. And But we're going to talk about why I'm imploring VV not to burn the collectibles in that are left in the market. And I'm going to show you um, why. So let's get right to the spreadsheet. Today has been pretty brutal. Uh, we have 43 of the comics we're looking at up, 106 down, 63 even. Uh, we continue to have a number of comics and collectibles hit all-time lows. Uh, that's pretty disturbing. Uh, the averages again move down. We add more. We added more comics to what we're tracking, and uh, we have uh, 34 trading above the average price. 178 down. Uh, the trend is decidedly bearish. The collectibles are not faring much better. With um, 25 up, 38 uh, down, and 5 even. Let's look at Amazing Fantasy 15, the common. Uh, it's back at the $400 level, one of the few uh, comics that's um, up today. And Vader has also responded uh, well as Vader is um, approaching the $800 level again. So uh, two of the key uh, NFTs on the VV platform are trying to um, move back above um, the resistance levels here. So let's look at the VVX tracker. Again, pretty predictable. Uh, we're seeing the range of active wallets R right now. We're so the range is between uh, 3,500 and 13,000. So 13,000 when we have the, the um, big drop days like uh, Miles Morales and when it's normal days, you know, 3,500. So we're, we're still uh, way, well under the 20,000 uh, mark. Uh, be sure you check out VVX Tracker. It's, it's awesome. One of, the, one of the best things that's available for you to see the market and uh, or to track the platform. And I pretty much look at it every day. Uh, mahalo to, to VV Fox for putting in the effort to do this. Uh, again, my spreadsheet is available to download. Uh, it's pretty um, it's pretty manual, but it is useful for me because I go through the prices at, at least once a day, and it allows me to to pick up some uh, comics and collectibles at at the at the floor stuff that I want, and I continue to build build my collection. So let's get right into. Uh, the meat of this uh, video, which is why I'm asking Vivi not to burn the collectibles left in the store. Now, I know a good portion of the pop population or the community uh, wants that to happen, and because it will increase the values of their collectibles. But here's my main reason is this this right here. The active wallets for for those of us in the platform that are just looking for quick bucks yeah it's it it it, it may increase in, increase the value temporarily but in the long term I don't believe it's necessary and being a collector and I use this example before it's like you know when they had um if they have a a, a statue or a car that's limited uh, and I'll, I'll use um, a different example. Let's say the Thousand Mints of the Platinum Blue Eyes White Dragon, which was released by uh, Konami. You know, let's say, I mean, they all sold out, of course. But let's say, you know, 100 was left in the store. I would hate to see them destroyed, you know, because if the value goes up and they, um, uh, it, it gives people in the future an opportunity to, to uh, pick up the collectible or the comic in this case. 
And the key word here is future. For those of us that believe in the VV platform, and yes, you know, I get, you know, I hear some criti criticism that, you know, I'm like overly critical, but if I was, if I didn't believe in it, I wouldn't be buying pretty much every day. And I post all my buys on, on Twitter, so you can see that I'm actually doing it. And for those of us that believe in the VV platform, we're not looking at 3,500 active wallets a day. We're looking for a much bigger user base, you know, and, and David, you has said, you know, he's looking at millions and I'm going to um, try to prove this to you and hopefully convince you by looking at this drop, the Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. This is still available in, in the market. You know, there were uh, 11,888 editions and, you know, there's 8,677 that were minted. So let's look at the market here. And right now there are 197 available in the market. Let's look at the numbers. Now taking the data from VVX Tracker, I broke it down to the high active wallets and the low active wallets rounding it off. So we saw that there are 13,000 high active wallets 3,500 low active wallets. Now let's assume that the user base increases tenfold. That means the high active wallets a day would be 130,000 and the lows would be 35,000. Now 35,000 users on the platform are, f you know, it, it sounds like a lot of users, but when you compare it to you know, the users, whether it be in, in Fortnite or Roblox or something, it's it's incredibly low. And, and and David and Dan have a vision of millions of users on the on the platform. So let's just assume it's a 10x, which is also 10 times lower than what uh, David and Dan hope that the VV user base would be. Now, there are 3,211 of the TIE Fighters in the store and only 197 in the market. So what does this mean? So one key thing number to look at is in the market, there are only 51 listings that are below the store offering price of $80. That means 146 of them are above the uh, the store price. The total available for sale is 3,408, which you'll see here. So assuming the user base increases by tenfold, that means we would only need 2.91% of those users to want to buy the TIE Fighter, to clear it out. You know, to take everything. That's nothing. Now, even at the lows, that's 10.82%. So let's say we bring in all of these users. It wouldn't take much to clear out the entire number. Now let's look at this differently, okay? Um, well, let me move forward. Let's assume that the user base hits what David and Dan are approaching, which is a million users. So that would mean a 100x increase in user base. For the high active wallets, it would, it would take 0.29% of the users to want to buy a TIE Fighter to clear out this number. And even at the lows, it would only be 1.7% to clear out everything. Now, let's look at it as, let me add one more. So let's say we want to look at it as uh, to clear out the floor. And let's call the floor this. What's in the market below the $80 asking price. There was only 51. And let's see how the numbers look. 
Look how low this is. To clear out the floor, even if it's 10x, it would only take 0.04% of the users that come in to want a TIE Fighter. That's at the high active wallets. So even if we went at the low active wallets, it would only take 0.16%. So, and there's no point even looking at if it goes 100x. So I, I'm imploring Vivi, you know, to leave the, the drops alone. Keep the store there. Now, if, if you truly believe that the user base is going to increase, and I hope you do, I hope Vivi, I, I really hope you do, you know, because even at 100x, it's going to take a fraction of the users that come in to want to sweep the floors. It's going to happen as the user base increases, it's going to happen pretty much instantaneously. So let's say if it is correct and the NFL, uh, uh, VV does get the NFL and that brings in an influx of users, the, the floors are going to be swept on these, especially on these 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 mint runs. It doesn't take much. So I believe that the platform has the potential to grow. Will it will it succeed? I I hope so, but if and I'll say, you know, what I believe um and this is just my my belief, if VV continues to cater to this number, it, let's say the uh VV does get um DC Comics and and they put um, action comic number one in there with this amount of users I think the potential for growth is going to be stunted you have to grow the user base first you know if the platform or the app uh, cannot sustain the load then uh, technical team solve it scale up your servers you know, it, you know, again, I do this for a living. It's, it, it's really not that difficult, right? I mean, just, you know, increase your, your server farm, increase your CPU, increase your RAM, increase your processors, increase your storage. You know, uh, yes, it does cost money, but if the users are coming in, hopefully they'll be buying and they'll, they'll pay for these servers costs because, because you're going to need to do it anyway. If you get the 10x or you get the 100x, you're going to need to inc increase your spend on infrastructure. So don't hold back, VD. Don't cater to 3,500 users. You know, you've the, the team has been dreaming big. Continue to dream big. But I implore you, don't. Don't get rid of some of the great things that are, yes, we're in a bear market, so they're stuck in the store. Leave them there, please. Please comment below. Thank you for your guys' support, and aloha.